and perfect so i'll record this part for you and what we're going to do here is we're going to post it on and this is what you'll do for 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 conversion ads so in this case we're running a conversion ad the other one's an event ad right this is a conversion ad so we post it on the business page first and then we go back and run the ad okay okay so that, and that text looks amazing too. It, you got the little emojis going, you have it spaced out. So, and I basically said in here what I said on the, in the video. Perfect. 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 So, so going from top to bottom, the text real quick. So we're calling out the audience, right? There are so many people in Odessa, right? And Midland wanting to feel empowered before starting to buy their new home, but end up with more questions than answers. We have the answers. Perfect. So now we're calling out Odessa. We're calling out Midland. Mm -hmm. And then number two, we're telling a brief story. If this is you, right, I'm putting to some type of, of story. I'd like to personally invite you to a free new home buyer educational event, answering questions like, so now we're just giving a little, a little, a little expectation, a little, a little content of, of, of a little story. Um, painting perfect three bullet points. And then number number three, we're going for the call to action. My name is Kara. And then and then if you'd like to attend our free new home buyer educational event, click the learn more button. That's it. Calling out the audience, telling a brief little story, and then the call to action. Mm -hmm. And, that, and then I put all of my legal information that I have to put in here for everything. Okay. okay. And everything. Uh, should I make this my homepage? I mean, my business page link? No, not the business page link. It'd be, okay. the, it'd be the link. You don't need a link right there at all. Um, okay. In fact, I wouldn't even put phone number unless you absolutely have to, which I don't think you do, because okay. everything is about clicking the link. Right. So, so, so I so rather than phone number, rather than even hashtag, if you want to put the hashtag, that's fine. But oh, no, right that's okay. Number, I would just put Kara Wright, team leader of the Wright Group, Fathom Realty. Click learn more for all the details, or click learn more to download your new home buyer guide today. And even though we already said at the top, if you need to say something at the bottom, then then maybe put click learn more. Kara Wright, team lead, leader of the Wright Group, Fathom Realty, click learn more. Or and that's okay. Leave, All right. Actually, just leave it like that. Leave it like that. That's fine. Leave it like that. That's perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay, cool. So let's upload the video. Done. Okay. So now here's what we want to do. Hmm. We want to um, we want to hover over the video and scroll up a bit. You'll see video options. Click on that. So this over here, the video title, that's what, I don't know why they use the word title because it's not at the top. Titles are normally at the top, right? Yeah. Title. Yeah. This video title is what you see at the bottom left of every okay. video. So as you're in oh, the, okay. yeah. you're just in the news feed, you're scrolling through, mm -hmm. there's text on the bottom left of a video. Yep, I've seen uh, that. Yeah, so that's that. So that's a short description, um, nothing too long because you don't, you don't get too much space. Uh -huh. um, and we're going to view it in real time as we set up the ad, but here you could just put the call to action. You could put, um, um, download or no, you could put, it's actually the new home buyer educational event. So I would put something it's like, the event. Um, what's that? It's the event. Yeah. It's the actual event. So, um, I would put, I would put, um, I'd probably put click, learn more for all the details, click, learn more for all the details. or for details, click learn more for details. Okay, cool. And then here you can always change the thumbnail if you wanted to, which, which you don't need to at all, but you can always change the thumbnail. Um, but I, but this is perfect. I would just hit save. Okay. Yeah, save, and then we're good. And then post. Okay, cool. So yeah, not now. And do you know why I'm recommending posting it on the page first, and then we go run the ad? I have no idea because then I wouldn't have had my question to you today. I would have understood. <laughs> right. Yes. The whole the whole reason for there's really two 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 ways you can really do this to run an ad through the ads manager the correct way. There's really two ways. One way you post on the business page first, and then you go run the ad, which is what we're going to do, which is what I teach. The second way is where you don't put it here, and we just go straight back to the ads manager and run the ad. Mm -hmm. Those are the two different ways. You either post it here or you don't. Okay. The reason why I do is because once that ad is, is completed, the okay. post remains on the page forever. Okay. And it's like, the way I look at it is like, if I'm going to spend money on the damn thing, it needs to be public forever. I agree. So, so, and, and, and so if I did not put it there and I spent a bunch of money on the ad and then it's off, it's nowhere to be seen. It's like, well, damn, 
I spent money on it. I need yeah. it to be public forever. Yeah. So that's why you put it here first. Put it here okay. first. That way it just lives on forever. That makes sense. Okay. So so now now we're good there. So um refresh the page and just make sure sometimes it takes a few minutes, but yeah. let's, let's see if, if it posted. As long as it's taken to come on, it's probably gonna have posted. Yep. It's fine. awesome. Awesome. Okay, cool. So Step one is posting on the business page, which that looks phenomenal. That looks really, really good. And then step two is we go and, 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 and create the custom audience real quick. So let's go back to the ads manager. And we're going we're gonna to make sure that we create the audience for the video. We created the audience for the landing pages and the thank you page, but we also want to create the custom audience for the video, right? So now hit the blue button, create audience. And then um, we're going to go custom audience, and then we're going to go video. And how long was that video? Um, give me one second. I'll tell you exactly. One fifty-two mm. seconds. Awesome. Okay. Cool. So perfect. So video. What we'll do is we'll create an audience around um, around fifteen seconds. Okay. Okay. So next, and then here you're going to just simply engagement. Click that, and we're going to come down to fifteen seconds. And right then, here? Yep. yep. And then choose videos in the top right. Choose videos. Oh. And then uh, find that video. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Okay. Cool. And then confirm. And then the, the retention, again, 365, way, way too high. So I'd probably bring it down to, I'd probably bring it down to, probably, probably I mean, I'd probably, I, I'd bring it down to 60. 60 is the max. Like that's the max, max. Okay. Because again, if someone saw this video one time 55 days ago, mm -hmm. they may not remember you the next time around. And so that, so the whole key of custom audiences is, is for those to remember us. Yes. That's why when you see something, when you're surfing online and you, you're looking at a red handbag and then you leave in the next hour, you see an ad, they're showing you that ad right away. They have you in a custom audience of freaking two days mm -hmm. because they know that you just perform this one action so therefore they're going to retarget you right away okay right but if i have if i if you click on that red handbag and then you don't see another ad until 57 days later yes you may still remember that red handbag but the thought of buying it or the thought of even interested is probably way gone by that point that's true right so yep. so that's why in this case like 60 is is even is even a, a long time um but for real estate, I think it's probably real estate, more realistic. Exactly. Right. That's yeah. Yeah. For your, but you're right. You're right. So that's why I'm recommending 60. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Leave it at that audience name. Um, give it exactly whatever you, whatever, whatever's going to allow you to remember what video that is. Um, perfect. And then, and then, and then in parentheses, you can take away the word ad. Take okay. away the word ad. Um, in parentheses, put 15 seconds. So new home buyer educational event video, 15 seconds. Perfect. And then create audience. Okay, cool. So step one, posting on the business page. Step okay. two, coming over here and creating the custom audience, especially if it was a video and then, and then click done. And then step three is go and run the ad. So, um, three lines at the top, and then we'll go to the ads manager. Okay, so over here, we'll click on the green button, and then we'll go straight into conversions. Yeah, and so yesterday, we set up our, our other two custom audiences, and we also set up our custom conversion. So um, always make sure that if you're running a conversion ad, always set up the custom conversion. Okay, so so now these are three steps, right? These are the three tabs. These are the three steps. Step one is the campaign, and it's just simply giving it a title at the top. You always want to get in the habit of, of giving it a good title at the top. No, a little lower in the box right there. Yeah. So delete that, delete all that, and just and just rename it. And this is this is step one. So it's not giving the it's not naming the entire ad, the entire campaign. It's naming this specific step. So in this specific step, step. Um, I would name it the ad. So, so new, new home buyer, give it that new, give it that name. Cause that's, that's what it is. And then, and then I would probably put new home buyer educational event video and then in parentheses conversions. Okay. 
That's this specific step where we're choosing conversions on step one, the campaign level. Okay. Perfect. And then categories, you're always going to go with, since you're, since you're a buyer's agent, you're going to always go with housing and credit. You're going to always go with both of those. Okay, so, so um, some settings may change. That's fine. Click on modify ad sets. Okay, cool. You're good. Okay, now click out and scroll down and that's it. So, so that's step one. Step one, campaign tab one is choosing the objective and then, and then, and then choosing your special ad categories. That's it. Okay, and then um, next. And then although it said United States right there, once we come to this step, step two, we're going to take away United States and we're going to only target Odessa or Midland or wherever. Okay, so, so now, now we come here. We, we, yeah, we want to start at the top. We want to give it a good name. And, and so now in this specific step, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be choosing our budget and we're going to be choosing our, our, um, our, our targeting, our location. So at the top, put Odessa or wherever you're targeting. Um, and then, and then maybe, maybe, um, how many miles are we going out? So, um, yeah, we're Odessa not very big here. So the last time we ran the ad and it showed it on the map, Mm -hmm. It pretty much just the basic thing. It covered almost all of Odessa and three quarters of Midland. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So then, um, so as we come down to the map, let's do the math real quick. Go down the map. Do you need me to do Actually, anything else up here? Yeah, we're going to rename it. We're going to, we're going to continue, okay. on, but, but let's go down real quick right here. Conversion event. Let's, let's go to the, yeah, let's just go from top to bottom conversion event. Sometimes you'll come here and it'll be blank, right? Sometimes you'll come here and your, and, and your conversion will already be there. But when it's blank like this, go ahead and click on the box and we're looking for our custom conversion. So this click box? inside, yep. Oh, okay. And scroll down to until you find your custom conversion, which was the, what you just passed it. That's why you, you got to always remember the names of what your name and everything. So home buyer yeah. leads. There's That's so your many things, conversion. my gosh. Well, all those other ones are the default ones. Okay. You'll, you'll, you'll watch, look at all of them. Those are all the default ones that Facebook has, Yeah. but, but, but you customize your own. So, so gotcha. you could, right. We wrote that right okay. home buyer. So that's your custom conversion. That's the name of your custom conversion. And that's the name of your custom audience, yes. right? Home buyer event leads. That's also the name of the custom audience. So, so again, the custom conversion is just letting Facebook know when we run this ad, this is the most important page we're trying to give people to. Okay. That's the custom conversion. Okay. okay. Um, so if you, if you came in here and you ran a conversion ad and you did not set up your custom conversion, Facebook has no idea what page you're trying to get people to. Once okay. we get to the third step, yes, we're going to put the, the landing page link in the learn more button. Yes, but that's not really the ultimate page we're trying to get people to. Right. Right. So if you didn't do this and you just put in your learn more button and there's the landing page, Hey, Facebook, I'm trying to get people to the landing page. Okay. Well then shit, they're going to give you 50,000 people that get to the landing page and you're not going to capture one lead. Yep. Because you did not specify what page is most important. The thank you page is the most important. That's gotcha. the custom conversion. Okay. okay. So, so scroll down and then, and then, so we have our budget. Um, so go ahead and go. And, and what I want to test here, because I know I, I think on the last one, we, we did lifetime. I think we're going to go daily. Let's test daily. Let's go daily. It doesn't have to be 20. You can drop it down five bucks a day, 10 bucks a day, whatever. Um, go, yeah, go daily. Fix that, whatever you want to do daily. Come on. There we go. Perfect. And here's another thing too, Kara. Here's what I want you to really, really, really um just allocate just mentally or write it down or just budget it. Think of that one budget, right? Think of that one monthly budget and just stick to it and, and, yeah. and, 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 and spend it regardless and, 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 and stay consistent, stay consistent for at least 90 days. Okay. So if it's, if it's, if it's 300 a month, 10 bucks a day, 30 days, there's 300 a month. So if it's 300 a month, if it's 10 bucks a day, if it's 40, it's, if, if it's 15 bucks a day, 450 a month, right? If it's 20 bucks a day, 600 a month, whatever it is, 10 is for sure the minimum in real estate, like 10 is the minimum. Mm -hmm. So start there. And then as you start to get traction, then, then absolutely, but, but the key is to stay consistent. And to tell you the truth in your business, scaling up is really just going from 10 bucks to 20 bucks. Like a person that was spending 20 bucks a day, 600 a month targeting their local area, they would dominate. 
Okay. And in other businesses, many other businesses, like in my business, for example, which is digital products, when I run ads for my actual coaching services, in my business, we're actually spending way, way more. We're, and, and that's, I wish every real estate agent would do that because you guys make a shitload per deal. And so I still yes. get it how most agents are afraid to spend a hundred bucks when it's like, dude, you're making seven grand on the damn deal. I, I know. Like how, how can we not spend a hundred bucks on marketing? Like what the hell? Exactly. People that are so weird and it blows my mind, but, but, but that's, that, that's besides the point. What I'm really trying to say is that, is that, is that depending on your product, depending on, 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 on the net income that we're making on that one product, mm-hmm. that's how you kind of want to break this down. So, so again, if I was an agent and I was making, let's just say five grand per deal, me personally, this is not what I'm telling you to do. I'm just letting you know how I think. Me yeah. personally, I'd be spending five grand a month. Yeah. Like I would literally be spending five grand a month on Facebook ads. If I can just pull one deal, I break even. Yeah. And, 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 and I'm just saying, you don't even have to go that high. I'm saying in real estate, if you took it to 20 bucks a day, if you took it to 25 bucks a day, eventually, that's really all you need. Um, and you would literally dominate. You would literally and dominate. That's exactly. As soon as I have a client again, because I worked on my last one for four months and it fell through at the very last minute. And I was banking mm-hmm. on a lot of stuff with that one. Mm-hmm. And it really sucks. And that would have oh, been, I would have brought home seven grand for that one. Yeah. 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 So, so, so as we, as we gain traction, then yeah, we'll scale up, but yeah, let's go 10 bucks a day for now. And then okay. the start date, go ahead and, and, and change that. Um, We're going to do that well, starting today. Yes. You always want to start, you always want to start the ad the next day at 6 a.m. So it's always the next day at 6 a.m. Just to give Facebook plenty of time to review the ad. um, Just so if if they reject it for whatever reason, we we have plenty of time to make changes. The dollar amount spends evenly. Um, 6 a.m. And then go go, go ahead and do an end date. And then. What I would do, and here, here, yeah, here's what, here's what I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of coach you on is two, two ads. We're going to, we're going to be testing two ads a month. So, so, so let's call it 300 a month. Let's call it 300 a month. This one's going to run for, for 15 days and there's 150, mm-hmm. right? $10 a day, 15 days, there's 150. But not right. this so, one necessarily. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. This one's only running till the you're seventh. Right. You're right. Go ahead and put the seventh. You're right. But I get what you're but, saying but, that but, one would do half the month, the other one would do the other half. Yes. So two ads, two videos is all I'm saying. Yeah, right. Yeah. So while every Tom, Dick, and Harry is worried about posting on social media all damn day and being a social media butterfly and posting on TikTok and shaking their behinds over there, mm-hmm. all care, all I'm coaching you to do is two a month. Yep. Two videos a month talking to that home buyer that we post on the business page. We run each one for 15 days. Okay. And that's it. Okay. So we run one for 15 days. We, 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 we talk in 14 days to review the ad, to see if we should extend it or okay. if we should shut it off and set and, and, and run the second ad. Okay. That's kind of the strategy. Okay. Okay. So but yeah, in this case, we're going to just run it. Um, and in fact, yeah, you're right. It, it is, it is a shorter one. So why don't you, why don't you try to start it? Why don't we try to start it today? Let's try to start it. It's, it's 11 o'clock your time. I would think maybe Facebook would, would approve it by, yeah, go ahead and go back to the, to the 30th. I would, I would think Facebook would approve it by, um, I want to give them a few hours. I want to give them several hours. So why don't you, you put that start date to today? It is to all oh, because of the time. The time. So go ahead and change the time to put it, put it to put it to 6 p.m. Put it to 6 p.m. Yeah, 6 p.m. And then and then the May 7th, 6 p.m. So we want we want to even well, even, okay. The, the only event, reason right, is because yeah, the event right. starts at noon. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, cool. So that's that's perfect. Okay, good. Good. Okay, scroll down. We're good there then. We're good there. And you think this is still good since it's only going to be for a week? That'll still target enough people? Yeah, I mean, it will. It will. Um, let's see. That's that's 70. It's that's basically, yeah, 70 bucks. Because for something like this, I could afford to do twice that amount in that amount of time in hopes okay. that I'm going to get okay. the kind of response I think I will. Why don't you, why don't you do, why don't you do 15, 15 times seven? Yeah. 15 times seven 
105. So yeah, do 15. There There's a hundred bucks towards this ad. Okay. Right. So, okay, good. We're good. So scroll down. Yeah. 15 is, is a good, is a good, is a good, a good start. So now we'll scroll down and then we want to go, do we want to go people living in or recently in, or do we want to go people living in? People living in. Right. There's, there is a difference. So these four, if you read all of them, there is a difference. Um, so people living in this location, people recently in, people traveling in. Yeah. Right. So there is a difference. Yep. So that's our targeting people living in this location. Okay. So we're going to take out the United States. And, and, and in this case, to tell you the truth, what is really, what would be really, really good as far as targeting is typing in the actual address of the location. Yeah. And, and, um, and, and just building the radius around, around the physical address since okay. it is a location, right? No, Pete, that's fine. People living in, but, yeah. but the, the search, yeah. Search locations. What the hell is this? Oh, there it is. Why don't you type in the physical address? Um, and why don't we just target everyone in that, everyone in that area? Like everyone, maybe 15 miles around, around that address. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So, so what I would do at the top, go back up to the top. That's what the title is. Homestead at Parks Bell Ranch, Odessa. That's the title at the top. Okay, so scroll all the way to the top. There we go. Scroll all the way to the top. David, did you hear me? No. Um, nobody sees this actual. No, not at all. Not at all. Okay. So scroll all the way to the top and rename the title. So rename the title. Um, You've got mail. And then, and then go ahead and put in parentheses 15 miles. Oh, okay. And then, um, and then, and then why don't you just put dash dash 15 a day? So that's just super specific. Again, titling it, titling it based on this exact step, right? Homestead parks, 15 miles, 15 a day. That's it. So, okay. Now we'll scroll down and we're going to go. We're going to go, um, yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. We're going to go um, um, manual placement. Let's go manual placement. And then we're going to uncheck Instagram, uncheck Messenger, uncheck Audience Network. We're going to only leave. So if you scroll down, we're only going to leave Newsfeed right here. We're only going to leave Newsfeed. We're only going to leave Marketplace. We're going to uncheck everything else. So uncheck, uncheck, just keep going down, uncheck all of them. Okay, cool. I didn't realize it did both. So again, with automatic placement, Facebook, they quote unquote recommend it. Um, and that's just them placing the ad on all of these platforms within the platform. Sure. Right. And, 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 um, and it's not like they, it's not like they would put like a ton of money. If like, for example, if they posted it on in the in stream, right. If they posted it on the search or whatever, if that post, if that ad within that platform was not performing, it's not like they would charge you a shitload of money for it. They're not going to, they're only going to put the money towards where the engagement is anyway. So even if we left everything checked at the end of the day, they're only putting the money towards the highest engagement um, part of it all. Okay. So, so you can, you can still leave it on, on, on automatic placement, but even if it's just a few bucks. So as Facebook puts it everywhere and let's say two bucks was spent there, five bucks was spent there, 10 bucks was spent there. And then they found the news feed and they realized that the news feed is where all the engagement is at. So that's where you're, that's where they're putting most of the money. At that point, I lost maybe 20 bucks yeah. that they played around with putting the damn ad all these other places when mm -hmm. I could have had that 20 bucks went straight to the news feed in the first place. Yep. Right. So that's why I just go edit placement because even though there's tons of people on these other parts of it all, the most engagement is the newsfeed. So let's okay. just put all of our money there, right? So, okay. so we uncheck all that and that's it. So next, and that's step two, that's it. And then we come to step three, the final step where we want to, at the top, yeah, you can just name it. You can name it the same new home buyer education event video. It could be the same as the, as the first one. Um, 
no need for conversions. You could just put put video. That's fine. Video in in parentheses. Video will be in print in parentheses. Perfect. Perfect. There's the Facebook page, and then we'll scroll down and see. So here here's what I was trying to say earlier. Right here. Right here. This is what I was trying to say earlier is that number one one way you can post it on the page first, and then come back over here, or you can just come over here straight ahead, straight straight right away, and just and just create ad. Yeah. Right. And that's that, that, that setting right there, that, that one right there, create ad. I could just create the ad and, and pull that video from my download folder and put it here. But, okay. but again, I, I, we're not going to do it that way. So hit the drop down. We're going to get out of create ad and we're going to come down to use existing post and then select post. And then you'll see that post. Well, I just click on it. Yep. Just click on it and then continue. And then now all we need is, um, all we need to do is scroll down. We're going to scroll down and then we're going to put in a little higher right here, the add button. So the call to action, that's where your landing page link goes. So let's go to Kartra, grab your landing page. Um, and that link is what's going to go there. You're going to copy the entire link and you're going to, um, you're going to put it over there. So here, no, no, no. Yeah. Done and exit. Always hit the done and exit. Okay, cool. This one. Yeah. So I'm perfect. getting the link. Get coder link. That's all you need. Get coder link. Perfect. And then we're going to copy the entire link and um, paste it in over there. Okay, cool. So we're going to add button, add button, and then we're going to paste it in. Okay, cool. So there's the learn more button. And again, if you hit that drop down on learn more, there's all these other different call to action buttons, but the most clicked on is the learn more. Go ahead and click on the learn more button at the top. Learn more. No, 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 Learn more. Oh, gotcha. I just want you to show, I want to, I just want to show you. Oh all, yeah. All these different ones, right? Um, all these different call to actions, but Facebook, they, they obviously do, they, they know this stuff more than anything. They do test on, they run tests on this split test all damn day. And it's all they do. And learn more is the button that's that's clicked on the most so learn more is is the best so update post and then down here we always want to make sure the tracking so if we go down we look at the tracking so this right here you always want to make sure that the website events that box is checked and you always want to make sure that 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 uh dot is green okay so it's coming from that pixel from that domain the dot info yeah. And, and sometimes it's blank there. Sometimes it's blank. Sometimes the box, the website events is not checked. So all you do is just check the box, click the drop down, find your domain pixel and choose it. That's okay. it. Okay. So now publish and that's it. So as this publishes one of three and sometimes it gets stuck, which it got stuck. Right, so publishing one of three. Sometimes I don't know why. Actually, that happens a lot now. Um, and when that happens, all you do is open up another tab, come back to the ads manager, and now you'll see the blue button at the top right. It says three in parentheses. Those are the three levels. Those are the three steps. So you click on the blue button, and then all you're going to do is publish it from here. And it'll, it should push through fast. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, now close out the other tab. So you don't want to mess with that other tab anymore. Just close that out. Click leave. That's it. Perfect. So now here's what I want to do. I just want to show you a quick view of it in real time. So check the box to the left of the ad. So here you see scheduled. When you see scheduled, that means that Facebook already approved it. They already approved it. And all they did is they approved it this level. Again, it's three levels, right? So they approved the campaign level. All they approved conversions. They approved they approved um, um, credit and housing. That's scheduled. That's approved. So if you click on the middle tab, this will say scheduled as well. And what they're what they approved here is the targeting. They approved the budget right away, instantly. That that's scheduled. That's ready to go. What, what, what is the holdup for the next few hours is this part, is them reviewing the video. And, and they review the video for, I don't know if it's, a, if it's a robot that does the damn reviewing or if it's an actual human being, but what they're doing on the video is just, is just reviewing it to make sure there's no curse words and make sure that you're not saying anything crazy. 
and and even make sure that there's nothing nothing crazy in the background. I've had I've had ads get rejected on this one step, and 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 if one step is off, the whole ad will get rejected. I've had ads, real estate agent ads, that get rejected on this step because the agent and it would be like an open house or a listing ad, right? And you would think, what the hell, what could possibly go wrong on a video like that? But I've had agents that would do a walkthrough, right? They're at a property, they're, it's their listing, they're simply doing a walkthrough, filming it, right? Like every agent does. And in the background, there was a wet bar. So in the background of the video, there's bottles, right? And it's simply a bar in the kitchen. Oh. So because there's alcohol in the background, the ad was rejected. Oh my gosh. So this is the part that ends up taking a little longer and it could have been an image and it would still be processing it. So it goes both ways, video or image. It really doesn't matter. It's this third step that, sure. that, that we're waiting a few hours. You'll end up waiting a few hours on and, and that's fine. So you'll get an email from Facebook saying your ad is scheduled or running. And mm -hmm. that's when you know it's fully approved. Okay. Um, so now check or actually now hover over the title and click on edit. Let me show you a quick look of the ad or give you a quick look. So hit share at the top right, share, hit that drop down, and come down to Facebook desktop newsfeed. And then you'll just scroll down and it'll be right here below. There goes your ad. So rather than again, Kara, this is what I just, it, this is what keeps me up at night. Rather than posting this stuff to everyone in freaking social media world when 99% of them don't care, I'd rather put a few bucks and target my neighbors if I was a local business owner. Yes. If I, now, if I'm building nationwide, well, then shit, let everybody and in, in, in their mama see it. Yes. But if I'm local, that needs to be seen by my local community. Yes. Not David in California. He doesn't care about my listing coming up. No. If he's an investor, or maybe if it's for an investor, then maybe, yeah. But if I'm just typically, you know, marketing what we do, which is just our single family homes looking for a real legitimate homeowner, yeah. Then that person is normally, and at the at the same time, I get it too, where you don't, you never know where your next client's coming from. I get that part too. Everyone's moving. I get that part too. But the marketing, it has to be targeting our local area. Yeah, you know? absolutely. You gotta maximize. You gotta maximize. Sure. You know? And if it's not this, what are what what's everyone doing? Door knocking, flyers, they're out there shaking hands and kissing babies. They're doing local events like you guys are doing. That's what the typical agent they're putting their face on a billboard for 25 grand. Yep. Right? That's typically what your local farming is all about. When it's like, man, get in the news feed, spend a few, put that put a fraction. I have clients that spend three grand on direct mail. Oh, I know. Like, what the hell? You could have, for 300 bucks, you could have had everybody see your face. Yes. Right? In the news feed. Yes. You know? So we're just getting started, Karen. I'm just super fired up for you. You've come a long way with just the pages, the video. You have no idea what, what's about to happen. So I'm super fired up for you. So do we need to make sure, um, do you have time or do you need to run? I do need to run, but I have, okay. a, I have, I have some time for you. Click on learn more real quick. Let's just test the button. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. You're good. Okay. So any questions on this ad, any questions on, on, on the post? Yeah. Go ahead and click the button. Yeah. Everything works here. We're good. But any, any, any questions on this? No. And then when they fill this out, they'll click on that. It's going to send them to the thank you page and my flyer. Now my test email, it. It. you got to test it, test it. So as you opt in, they come to the thank you page that lead would have received an email right away and you should have got an email right away as well. You should have got a, a, an email. You should have got an email that a lead came in. Okay. And if not, we'll I'll double check that part for you. Oh, there goes. I just got mail. What does that, what does that email say? There it is there. A lead has filled in an opt-in form. Yeah. That's that. That's that. Okay, now they're supposed to get something. Yeah, so we're going to check that right now too. So, okay. But as far as our end right here, this looks good. We're good. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. 